What's going on guys, I'm Mars Bill, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Redstone tutorial video. In this video today I'm going to be covering my new Remote Trident Killer design. This Remote Trident Killer is going to be the second version of my last Remote Trident Killer. This upgraded design brings 100% reliability and it will never drop any of the Tridents like the old one used to. The old one would drop the Trident out of the Trident Killer every now and again whenever you unloaded the chunk or left a game. This one you never have to worry about that happening, however it does come with a slight price, which probably isn't ever going to be noticed inside of a real world application. The kill rate on this is slightly slower than the last version, and that is because this one will briefly shut off every few seconds, that way it allows the items and XP orbs to go out of the Trident Killer and into the item stream. Now if you are new to the channel, this is the third of these three Trident Killers that I have designed. This one over here is going to be just as efficient as far as killing wise however it's going to discharge items at double hopper speed which is about five items per second this one is overall going to be a little bit cheaper and easier to build however if you need a faster flowing trident killer then we have the high volume version over here this one is going to put out items at two and a half hopper speed which is just about seven items per second which is really ideal for dealing with all of the non-stackable items which makes it perfect for all of your gold farms and guardian farm applications if you are interested in either one of these other two Trident Killers, they're going to be linked down inside of the description below, so check them out. There will also be a world download, that way you can download the world and play with all three of these Trident Killers. And I will also be uploading a fourth Trident Killer design, which is going to be my Quad Trident Killer. This Quad Trident Killer is going to be simple and easy to build, and not really require a whole lot of resources. It's going to take the same amazing kill rate of my Trident Killer design, and pretty much times it by four. So if you have not seen how well my Trident Killer design performs, then I highly encourage you to check out the high volume Trident Killer video. Enough jibber jabber, let's jump into building this thing. Everything that you're going to need is going to be down inside of the description below. And while you're down there, if you feel like the video deserved a like, drop a like for me. It really does help out the channel. Thanks. So a few quick notes to go over before we get started building this. You're going to need at least 7 blocks vertically from the very bottom of your mob funnel all the way down to the very bottom of your trident killer once it's done being built. This trident killer is also going to be 4 blocks wide by 4 blocks wide. Unless you're counting the trap doors, then it's going to be 6 blocks wide by 6 blocks wide. So make sure that you have plenty of room whenever you are planning out an area to build this in. You are also going to want to chunk align this. I know it's not everybody's favorite thing to do, but this is the only way that I can guarantee the reliability and the performance of this trident killer. So take a moment, make sure that you don't have any of the trident killer crossing any parts of the chunk border, and you will be good to go. If you need help chunk aligning, I'll put a card in the top right. This card is going to take you to a shorts video that's less than a minute long, showing you how to use leaves inside of your survival world in order to align chunks. If you are open to downloading an add-on pack, there is a wonderful add-on pack by Foxy Notel. This add-on pack has many different tools in it, however one of which is going to be a chunk border marker, and it works amazing. If you are interested in downloading that, it's going to be down inside of the description below. Now that we are all chunk aligned, what we need to do is find our pre-existing mob funnel and attach the trident killer to it. If you're not going to be building onto a pre-existing farm, then what you can do is go up 7 blocks, making sure that you have enough room to build the trident killer. And then just make you a 4x4 ring, just like this, with a 2x2 opening inside of the center. This opening is where all of the mobs are going to drop out of, and if this is an active mob farm, you might want to cover these up, that way you don't have any mobs or creepers fall on your face. Next we can do away with all of these blocks here. And you want to grab your regular pistons. You're going to go to the right hand block and place down a piston this way, a piston facing this way, a piston facing this way, and a piston facing this way. Then you can take glass, and we're going to place glass in all of these empty locations here. Next you can take your solid blocks and place down a solid block underneath each one of these pistons. And then you can fill in four blocks inside of the center here. The next thing that you're going to want to do is find out what direction you want your ice stream coming out of. So I'm going to have it coming out of this side here, just like the other one over there. Meaning that the power switch is going to be on this side as well. So what we need to do is go to this side that we want the water stream to come out of. We're going to place down a temporary block here, a permanent block here, a permanent block here, and a permanent block here. Then we're going to remove this block here, place down a temporary block here, a permanent block here, remove this temporary block, and then we're going to place a permanent block here as well. Next we can make our way to the left hand side. We're going to place down three permanent blocks here. Then we're going to place down a permanent block here, a temporary block here, a permanent block here and a permanent block here. Remove that temporary block. Then we are going to work our way over here to the left hand side placing a permanent block here, a temporary block here, a permanent block here. Remove that temporary block. Then we're going to place down a permanent block here. Next we're going to get started placing in all of our redstone components. So we're going to want to grab our redstone dust, our redstone repeaters, and also our redstone torches. We are going to start by placing our redstone torch here with a repeater facing to the left, just like this. Leave that on the standard one tick delay. Redstone dust here, redstone dust here. 
a repeater here on a one tick delay. Redstone dust here, a repeater here on a one tick delay. Redstone dust here, and a repeater here on a one tick delay. Now you might have noticed that the trident killer is actually working. So in order to shut this off, we're going to grab ourselves a lever and we're going to place down a lever on this block here temporarily and go ahead and power that lever. Next, you're going to want to grab your hoppers and we're going to get all of these installed and you need to pay attention very closely because these can be rather confusing and they do need to be correct. So we're going to place down a temporary block here. We're going to grab our hoppers and we're going to face a hopper into this temporary block here. You can go ahead and remove that temporary block. Then we are going to take a hopper and face it into this side of that hopper. Face in a hopper into that one, a hopper into that one. That way it kind of makes a zigzag. A hopper going this direction, a hopper facing into here, a hopper facing into here, a hopper facing into the side here, another one facing this direction, one facing this direction, one pointing this way, and then we're going to bring this all the way around, making sure these hoppers are staying in a loop. And then this is what you should have. Looking at it from the bottom, this is how all of your hoppers should be orientated. Feel free to pause the video now. Next, you're going to go to the front of your trident killer and grab your redstone repeaters, your comparators, and also some redstone dust. We are going to go from this position here to the left hand side, and we are going to go down to this block here. We are going to take a comparator and face it to the left hand side. That way it's going to monitor the contents of this hopper and put out a signal whenever a item passes through this hopper. Then we can take some redstone dust and place down redstone dust here. We can scaffold up a little bit, that way I can crouch. And we are going to place down a redstone comparator here and a redstone comparator here. Go ahead and remove these blocks here. And then we are going to place in two more comparators facing this direction. So crouch, place a comparator here and a comparator here. Make sure that these comparators are on the default mode they should all have the light on the front of them turned off. So if you accidentally left click on them, make sure that they are all off like this. Then we are going to crouch place some redstone dust here and here. And then we're going to place a redstone repeater here on a four tick delay and a redstone repeater here on a four tick delay as well. Next, we can grab us two non stackable items and throw them inside of the hoppers here. Make sure that these two items going into these hoppers are indeed non stackable or else it will not work correctly. So at this point we can remove this lever here and place the lever down here and turn it on. This lever is not only going to stop the trident killer but it is also going to lock these hoppers here. And if we click into this hopper here as you can see we have our two non stackable items inside of this locked hopper. So now if we turn on the trident killer as you can see it is going to start running. I'll take these off so we can see. And then it is going to periodically pause allowing the items to flow out of here. So that is exactly what this should be doing. Next we are going to be adding in the water stream so we want to come to this block here that the lever was originally on and we're going to place in our ice here. We can take this ice stream and run it pretty much wherever you want it to go and then you can take some glass and make sure that you put a nice side on here that way none of the water comes out of here. And you're going to do this for both sides and as mentioned you are going to route this wherever you would like. Now for the item pickup you're going to want to use probably one, two, or maybe even three hopper minecarts down below here. That way you can pull all of the items out of here and put them into a sorting system or into a chest, whatever you prefer. The amount of hopper minecarts that you're going to need is dependent on how many items your farm puts out and what type of items your farm puts out. Next we are going to get started installing all of the water inside of our trident killer. This water is very important for the impelling 5 enchantment to work which is going to make our trident killer kill mobs a whole lot faster. So what we need to do is go to the end of our ice stream here and remove this glass block. We're going to place down a trap door here. This trap door is going to allow all of the items and XP orbs to come out of here. However it's going to hold the water in and it will also hold all of the mobs including the babies inside of the trident killer. That way everything stays separate. The next thing that you want to do is take four more trap doors and put them on the outside of all four of your pistons here. And then we want to make our way inside of the trident killer. You're going to go to the outlet here. Then you're going to turn all the way around to the diagonal corner. You're going to remove this piece of glass here and this piece of glass here. We're going to take a stair and put a stair here and a stair here as well. Then we're going to take our water bucket. We're going to waterlog this stair here. We're going to waterlog this one here. And we are also going to waterlog the piston to the right of that stair as well. So you should end up with water flowing in this direction, which is going to flow directly towards that ice stream. Then you can jump back out of here, go to your ice stream, and we are going to crouch and waterlog this repeater here. Make sure that you do not click on it and change the setting at all. And once you have done that, this is what you should end up with. Next, we can go ahead and grab a few buttons. 
and we are going to place a button at the very end of the water stream here and then you can place another water bucket down and restart this as far as you want to go bringing your ice out and your glass to wherever your destination is you then want to go over here and place down a piece of glass here and just make a really easy and simple roof covering up your entire ice stream just like this the last thing that you need to do is take you between one and four and pelling five tridents and throw them into the trident killer I recommend having four inside of here for peak efficiency however I would not put any more than four inside of the trident killer so I'm going to build this up a little bit just so the mobs don't splash out of here because I don't have a mob funnel on here and then I'm going to put a command block over top of it and we can test this thing out so let's throw on the lever and then we can throw some zombified piglins inside of here and as you can see they're going to be chopped up very very quickly and then all of their items are going to be pushed out and make their way down the item stream now there is a visual glitch with the xp orbs it has been around a very long time and will probably stay around for a very long time and that is that the xp orbs will actually become detached from where they are actually at and you can see all of those xp orbs inside of the trident killer so go down here and collect these then you'll see that as soon as i pick them up they all disappear and now the trident killer is completely empty with them Kind of a funky bug that's been around for ages and as mentioned it will probably be around for a long time because things like these just typically don't get fixed. Well guys that's going to wrap up this Minecraft Bedrock Redstone tutorial video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that this Trident Killer gives you a ton of use for many many years to come. As mentioned if you guys are interested in checking out any of the other Trident Killers or any of my other videos then go ahead and check out my channel. If you like what you see then consider subscribing. If you are interested in checking out solely the Trident Killers, as mentioned, those are going to be linked down inside the description below. And as far as the Quad Trident Killer goes, it's going to be coming up on the channel here within the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!